All right, so today I'm just gonna play around with some features that we've been asked about on the HX. I'm gonna do some experimenting with the color mode, the texture, the rapid scan mode. We've done a lot of stuff with the laser scan, which is where this machine really, really shines. No pun intended. Um, but today we're gonna do a very like crazy organic object, which is this piece of wood, driftwood right here. Um, and we're gonna use some scan markers uh, to make the, uh, the whole process a little bit easier. We're gonna do with texture flashing, no texture flashing. We're just gonna experiment. Let's show you some of the different modes and sort of how they affect the scanning and just really what happens. First thing first, I'm gonna open up the HX software and I'm gonna do rapid scan. And I'm gonna select texture because we wanna get the colors and everything on here. And I'm gonna use hybrid alignment because we're gonna use markers and the features to actually align the different scans. But I'm gonna start with just features and then I'm ready to scan. So you'll notice two settings right here, plane detection and texture flashing. So texture flashing is gonna flash a white light during the entire scan. And then plane detection is gonna sort of detect the flat plane that we're on. But I'm actually gonna turn both of these off to start out. So then I press the button once and we start getting this texture, this whole purple blue light. It is using blue light. And I can see that it's picking up data. So I'm just gonna hit the button again to start actually picking up data. Dude, this thing is so good. This is actually tracking really well. Now, what happened? It looks like it got a little bit confused in the middle of the scan because I got two different wooden objects. So instead of, uh, you know, going from there, I'm just going to select the stuff that I don't want. And let's get rid of that because we've got a bunch of good data right here. And I'm going to delete that data. Now I'm going to try it from another angle and we're going to see how well this thing uh, is going to align the two scans. This should be pretty crazy. Uh, and then next we're going to throw down some markers to see how much that helps keep tracking and everything. If I had the markers down there, it's probably not going to get as confused by the, it, basically it wouldn't think that there were two different models because it'll be using these pyramid markers available at visionminer.com on the website. Um, to track and know where it is. And this is the Einscan HX, by the way. We sell it at visionminder.com slash scanners. Uh, and we have a variety of scanners with turntables and structured light, blue laser. We got st specific scanners for people, uh, which is a whole nother deal. So uh, check out all our other videos on scanning. There's a lot of stuff out there. For now, I'm going to do a new project group. And I'm gonna do the same thing, features low resolution with texture. And then I'm just gonna go for a quick scan again. Hit the button once, picking up some data. I wanna stay kind of close for this one. Actually a lot closer in this mode than in the laser mode. I'm being careful so that it keeps tracking properly. Oh yeah, that's, it's getting confused. This is a crazy shape. And I don't know if I should even try aligning these things. So instead of that, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do this all over again with these scanning markers, which should help a lot in it knowing where it is and staying aligned with it, what it actually is scanning. Now resolution versus accuracy are two different things. Accuracy is that this point is within 0.05 millimeters of where this point actually is in real life. Resolution is how far apart those points are. So resolution is really the detail it's gonna capture, or accuracy, they're all, all the scanners are pretty close in this range, this price range, to about the same accuracy. If you need metrology level accuracy, then we have things like the auto scan and spec, which are higher in price, but really, really incredible detail down to like something like seven microns. In, it's just nuts. So, all right, we're in here. Let's go. I'm going to turn off textured flashing and plane detection. Enhanced recognition is actually for darker objects. We don't need that today. And I'm going to check out my exposure. All right, so when I hit my button once, you can see it's picking up the markers there. I'm going to stay in the right distance and let's start scanning. Let's really get into there. So if you're doing artifacts or, you know, organic shapes and things like that that are inanimate, 
uh, that aren't moving, basically, then this is a great scanner for it if you want to get full color. Um, it is something like 1.3 megapixels full color. So if you really need high res, you'll want to re-texture map it. Something like Blender or ZBrush or any 3D program that will do texturing. Uh, but if you want to scan moving organic objects like people, then the Einscan H, which is this puppy right here, is going to be a much better option just based on the algorithms and how organic things that are alive actually move. Like, you know, you'll be breathing or the cheekbone will move or something like that. So you want to, if you're doing people, that is 100% the scanner for you, and this is probably not the one you want to use. We've done some testing, we'll have more videos on that soon, but it's, it's night and day, night and day difference. Okay, so let me go in here, I'm gonna generate my point clouds, and I'm going to change my orientation of the wood. All right, so now I've got that, I'm going to go and I'm going to create a new project group. I'm gonna keep the same settings, and I'm going to go in here, and then I'm going to start scanning the other side. So preview with one hit, and start gathering data with another button push. All right, yeah, this is doing a pretty good job, keeping those markers tracking. The distance is really the most difficult part of this, keeping the right distance from the actual object. I'm gonna call that good, and let's edit that data. Let's take apart. Let's take it apart, let's get rid of the table, and then let's align the two scans, just see how well it works. Uh, instead of doing the cutting plane, let's show you another method. I'm gonna click here, holding shift and drag, and then bring that up. And notice I got a straight line to work with. So I can just go like that, and bada bing, bada boom. You can get rid of all that data right there. Like I was saying, we sell industrial 3D printers, uh, different processes, uh, big news coming in that area, uh, but mostly industrial aerospace grade materials, metal replacement polymers and thermoplastics like PEAK, Ultem, PPSU, stuff like that that is really, really high temperature, high strength, chemically resistant, crazy materials. If you need some sort of stuff like that, uh, definitely hit us up. Check out our website, visionminer.com. And we do a lot of 3D scanning and we just like, you know, discovering the technology and showing it off to you guys and giving you the information you need to buy it before you actually buy it. Uh, it's a, you know, what we love to do. And I'm just gonna show you how it scans differently and tracks differently with the different modes on. So you can see it's flashing that light. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Yeah, so it's doing that for the texture to get it a little bit better color uh, and just overall consistency. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to call that good. And come back down here. The markers really help keep it aligned. Zoom out a little bit. Let's just delete all that. As you can see, it, it does different things. It's got different features. When you turn them all on and turn them all off, you get different results from different methodologies. Next, my favorite, one of my favorites, I'm actually going to take these things off of here. Put them back in there. Nice little holder, by the way. If you're looking for these, uh, we do sell them on visionminer.com. They should be available very soon. So check out visionminer.com and they are scanner pyramids. Okay, so we get rid of those and we're gonna use one of my personal favorites, which is a Lazy Susan with a bunch of markers applied to it. And we're just gonna give that a shot because now I've got the plane with all of the markers and that'll actually help get rid of that data, but it's also a contrast for this. So let's just see how that works and start a new one. I will use plane detection because why not? And uh, all right, I'm just gonna slowly turn this here. I think these markers are, are gonna really help a good bit. Okay, so I picked some stuff up. One of the things I like about using this is actually that I can select multiple markers and get rid of all the data below that. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to create a cutting plane and buy the markers and shift select the markers themselves. Three of them is good enough. And then I can just move that up or down. I can angle it if I want to a little bit. Oops, don't grab it too much. All right. Looks good, that's enough. I can do this. So everything under that is gonna get deleted. Uh, apply, and there we go. 
All right, so a bunch of different modes, random object of the day, uh, organic shapes, very confusing and interesting. This is a very difficult part just because you gotta align it in all these ways. But if you take your time and say I spent an hour on this, uh, it would be much, much easier to find those common points. And if this is something you're making money with, which is why we sell these scanners, these are really not consumer devices. We sell to businesses, uh, industrial businesses, job shops, uh, a lot of automotive and uh, even aerospace and, and medical places use these products to run their business and make money. So that is a big deal. And if this is what you need to do, then it's an incredible thing. And I hope this video showed you some stuff. Um, I'm sure you have questions and I would love to see them in the comments below so that I can try to answer them in a future video. Uh, we try to read all the comments and uh, I really, really appreciate your guys' feedback, whether it's good or bad or ugly, I love it all. Let's get it. Uh, anyway, let me know down in the comments below. We'll be doing some more videos on the H, the uh, Einscan Pro HD, of course, our printer, the 22 IDEX, and some cool powder bed fusion stuff coming up very soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed for that. Thanks you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.